So a few days ago, I needed my last dopamine fix of the day. So I opened up my Instagram and I saw this post saying, 99% of you can't do this simple exercise. Must resist. No, don't click. Resist clickbait. Okay. Uh, that is the exercise. I can do that. So I put my phone down and went to sleep. And I had the wildest dreams of me failing, standing on the biggest stage I've ever played. The crowd booing, throwing tomatoes at me, making mistake after mistake. I'm terrible at guitar. I can't do it. No, no, no. Next morning I woke up and it hit me. I need to make sure I can play this. If not, I'm a failure. So this exercise is quite basic really. Every bar we increase the subdivision played on each beat, starting on one note per beat, then two, then three, then four, then five, and it ended on six if I remember correctly. I can't find the video anymore. So basically what we're playing is quarter notes to eighth notes to eighth note triplets to sixteenth notes to quintuplets and then to sextuplets even. And this looks very much like an exercise I learned at the conservatory which takes it even one step further, but more on that later. So is this really that difficult then? Is it true that 99% of you can't play this exercise? Well, you tell me, try it now. Turn on a metronome and play it and let me know in the comments if you nailed it, got somewhat close or completely failed. I won't judge. The reason why it might sound unnatural is that the switching back and forth between that triplet feel, also called swing feel, to that straight feel, isn't used very often in music. It's usually the one or the other, like straight, straight feel, or a swing feel. So going back and forth between. You know what? Now comes an entire segment of me explaining why it's difficult and why people fail playing this exercise. But you know what? I really don't stand behind it. And let me rephrase the title and get rid of the negativity. I'm pretty sure 99% of you can play this simple exercise. It all comes down to practice. So first turn on a metronome. That's really the key and put it real slow, maybe 60 BPM or even slower and start playing just quarter notes for 15 minutes. And the trick is to make the metronome sound great. It's what a wise man once said and then bump it up, eighth notes to eighth note triplets and all just playing those subdivisions and don't try to put them together until you got that right. Here's a clip of me just playing quintuplets. So if the metronome sounds weird to you, that's because you're not locking in with it. Really lock in with the click. So if you got that right, now you can try to time together. And now I'm sure 99% of you can play this simple exercise. So what was that exercise I learned in the conservatory then? Well, it's funny because in 2018, I wrote a bunch of exercises uh, that I wanted to turn into a video that were loosely based on what I learned at the time in the conservatory. I'll put those up at my Patreon page for those interested. But um, what we did was basically, we played the rhythmic changes through a scale instead of just one note. So whatever scale you want, basically, let's do A major for now. To me, this is more a musical implementation and just playing the rhythms. We aren't drummers after all. So one thing I always advise is to really 
feel the subdivision. So how do triplets make you feel? Like there's a certain feeling that each rhythm gives you. And not just playing the notes, stretching them evenly between the beats and just sort of guess or hopes that everything falls in the right spot. And you should really get into the feeling just before you get to the next bar so you know how fast you're going to play instead of adopting to the new speed too late. So if you really want to have fun with this, try doing the exercise up to six and then also go down again, five, four, three, two, one. Let's see if that's even possible. Uh, Anyway, if you want to try this too, uh, the tabs are available on my Patreon page, but it's pretty straightforward, just play the scale, basically. Anyway, let's see how far I can. Actually, pretty difficult to get right. I challenge you hereby to do it. But now I'm actually thinking, did we ever do quintuplets in that lesson at the conservatory? I actually think we did dotted quarter notes and dotted eighth notes instead. And that's maybe even better since I'm sure most of you usually don't encounter quintuplets in, in the everyday music you listen to or play. But dotted notes are super common. Half notes. <laughs> to dotted quarter, quarter, to dotted eighth, quarter triplets, eighth, eighth triplets, to sixteenth. Yeah. That's tricky, talking and playing at the same time. So I think the hardest part of this is to dot it eighth to the quarter triplets because that's two polyrhythms really, going from four over three to dot it eighth to three over two. That's pretty cool. Anyway, feel free to play that exercise walking up the major scale as well. It's a fun little exercise and I think it's pretty useful actually. It teaches you a lot about staying in time and about some lesser known subdivisions around. Thank you so much for watching, have a great day. Try this exercise to hashtag Paul Davids, hashtag Rhythm Challenge, at Paul Davids Guitar, tag me on Instagram. Hope to see you over there and of course, see you next week. Have a lovely day, cheers.